What's going on, guys? Today I'm flying out the F7 F1 Tiger Cat. This is a new airplane introduced in the 1.43 patch. This is literally the second time I've flown this plane in a battle. In my first match, I flew up against the Russians, faced primarily LA-9s and Tu-2s. It's actually pretty good competition. The LA-9s are a very good airplane. <coughs> Excuse me. But in this particular match, we're, we're up against the Germans, so we get primarily Focke-Wulf and, uh, and uh, some of the early BF-109s, like the G-2 Trops. This isn't uh, particularly great matchmaking for the Germans. I actually feel kind of bad, to be honest with you. The F7 F1 climbs better than everything from Germany at this tier. Now, since this is my second game, all my... Uh, Upgrades are non-existent. Everything is stock. And even, even stock, this plane climbs like a beast. Now, some of my first impressions on this plane are, damn, this thing is huge. This thing is enormous. When you try to zoom in to uh, aim at your target, the plane fills up your entire screen. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Also, the wings are very thin. Just a little bit of damage and your uh, plane's going to have all kinds of problems handling. It, it maintains uh, energy very well, and it picks up the speed incredibly fast. And here, this is 109 on my left, and he's coming up after me. So I'm going to pitch up and have him stall out. This would be a great opportunity to uh, take him out if I had a teammate. He could come in and, and uh, shoot him. As, I st as I'm stalling him out, but since I don't have a teammate over here, I'm just going to have to try to avoid him as best I can. And unfortunately, I can't, uh, I couldn't pull up in time to shoot him. This 109 decides to hit on me. Unfortunately, I, most of my shots missed. And the ones that did hit didn't do a whole lot of damage. But it was enough to scare him away. He's, he's booking it. I'm going to head towards my teammates and try to answer this guy's question. He wants to know if you can talk to your whole team with the, with the microphone, and you can't. It's actually not a bad question. I was actually wondering about that just the other day. Not so much if it's possible, but, you know, it, is it practical? Typing when you're dogfighting is not, uh, it's not easy to do. I'd rather be able to use voice comms. But then, with the voice comms with, with your entire team, you'd end up having problems with uh, people talking over one another. It would be a mess. This Falk was putting himself in a pretty bad situation, and I take his wing off. With four 20mm cannons and four 50 caliber machine guns, the Tiger Cat can tear apart just about anything in the game right now. Its weaponry is incredible. And as soon as you get into trouble, you can use your speed and climb away. The engines, even though they're only two, they're, they're really powerful. Couple of guys up above me, a 109 and a Focke Wolf. I'm gonna climb away from them and then slowly turn around, and try to engage him. A couple guys down below. My engines are overheating. Oh, that's one of the one of the issues that you're gonna have with this plane. Well, actually, any plane, really, when, when it's uh, stock, because you don't have the radiator or any of the other upgrades that can deal with uh, with the engine. I, ca I can't imagine this plane with, uh, you know, the, uh, the engine upgrades and the wing upgrades and everything else. That's It's going to be incredible to fly this thing when it, once it's fully upgraded. Even completely stock like, like it is, it's uh, awesome. Fock Wolf is diving down. It looks like the 109 is going to stay up above the clouds. Yeah, two minutes before my engines die. I want to take out this 109 before the before I have to deal with the engines. Can't believe he's going to do a head on with me. Unfortunately, I missed almost all of my shots. That's that's just terrible. <laughs> that, one, that 109 would have been obliterated if I had I had been a little more accurate with my aim there. I've got a F7F teammate here coming in. Because of that, I'm going to 
I'm going to uh, throttle down and let my engines cool down. He called out the uh, 109. He's going to target him. I'm going to swing around and, see, and uh, watch. Give him a hand if necessary. There's no one else up high, so there's no point in staying up here. I'm at four kilometers for crying out loud. It's like all the all the parties down here. And look at everybody! All, all the fuck wolves and one lions are all over down, down here. There's one back there, but there's more over here. There's a fuck wolf trying to climb up and snipe my uh, tiger cat teammate here. This is a great opportunity to get him in as he's uh, stalling out. I don't kill him just yet, but he's uh, he's critically damaged. Same with this guy; he's stalling out. He's the one that I didn't kill in the in the head-on earlier. He's got all kinds of problems now. <laughs> he's just spraying his cannons all over the place, trying to get a, a lucky hit or something. But those guys down, we'll, we'll, we'll look for another target. There's just fuck off down here by the river. One iron still spraying his cans. You can see how big this this plane is. It's, it's enormous. I wait just too long. I have a tendency that I noticed here re recently that uh, I've been getting awfully close to the air to the uh, enemy aircraft before I, I uh, open fire. I mean, really close, like within I would say 400 meters. Because of that, it sometimes uh, causes me to miss out on some some kills. And that Fockwolf was a great uh, was a great example of that. I could have. I could have shot him down at uh, 700 meters. Instead, I waited until I was within like three or 400 meters, and by the time I was so close to him, and I was going so fast, I just couldn't make that little bit of adjustment. One of mine is the last guy alive. Looks like he's just mowing the lawn. Probably trying to escape somebody chasing him. You can see how fast this thing is, even even stock. Oh, he, yeah, he's on fire. He's he's dead. Right now, this plane's battle rating is 5.3. It, it should probably go up to about a 6.3, maybe even a 7. It's it's incredibly good. Now, I know some people uh, don't like flying it right now because it's 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 a little overpowered for where it is on the on the uh, matchmaking. I would recommend flying this plane right now. Get the upgrades while you can. Because it's only going to be a matter of time before Gaijin changes the battle rating of this plane. And makes it more competitive. At least when they do uh, make that change, you'll be ready to have all the upgrades. The primary reason for me flying it today was, was for the channel. But even if I didn't have the uh, channel, I would still be flying it, even if it's just for the upgrades. Get the upgrades while the plane has the matchmaking that it does. And the same is true for some of the other aircraft that are in in the game that were introduced in the 1.43 patch. You can, you can see some of the awards that I received. That was a nice little game there, three kills. Even without the daily double or uh, premium, it was still just under 4,000 uh, vehicle research points, which I have uh, slotted to go with the uh, B57A. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the section below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Wolf Thunder content. Take care, guys.